The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org slash action. And then earlier this morning in the first Class 8 quarterfinal game, the Red Lake boys basketball team began their fourth straight state tournament. The unseeded Warriors took on top seeded Minneapolis North. The Polars defeated the Warriors by eight earlier this season and they came out on fire in this one. Taylor Johnson gets the steal, goes coast to coast for the two-handed jam. Polars take the early four-point lead and they were off, getting out to a 25-3 run to open the game, capped by the Nasir El Amin layup. The Warriors would finally get going. Rob McLean finds Anthony Bolio down low for the bucket. And then it's McLean delivers the floater for two of his team high 12 points. And then McLean producing again, finds Jamie Cook. He delivers the three ball. He had nine points, but the Warriors still trailed by 24 and they would never get any closer. Minneapolis North led by 33 at the half and they roll to the 47 point victory, 90, 93 to 46. Here's Red Lake after the game. It's a totally different ball game at the state level. Um, you're not playing teams that's going to hold the ball you need to get a, a north. They're trying to get as many shots as they can. They're going to try to get as many dunks, fast break opportunities, defensive stops as they can. So to slow down the opposing team, to get them tired out, uh, just like how we play. Um, just today, we just couldn't make a shot. Uh, our defense was lacking. We could pick up after it. To make it to the state tournament, it's it's an honor because some players may never make it here. So, you know, and we're very fortunate to come four times in a row and, and a couple of these guys have two or three, you know, Section 8 championships under their belt. And, and that's something they create memories for for the future. And, uh, you know, they can tell their, their kids someday that I played in the state tournament. And, and so I'm very, really, really fortunate to just to be the coach of the team. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.